even if husbands are business owners or they work from home or whatever the case may be, there are times that they go out and even if they're not going out, they're still dealing with outside forces to create a business, to grow a business, to build a business, to create a legacy and a lifestyle for wives and their families to enjoy, not just them. They're not just doing it for them. <laughs> this is not the thing to say, oh yeah, you know, I'm only doing this for me. She just get the remnants of it. Assalamualaikum, peace. It's your coach, Coach Nyla, one of the co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as co-author of the book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. And I have some questions because the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've heard a lot of things about, or a lot of negative things about wives, you know, people who aspire and aspire to be wives because they are told that they lack ambition or they're asked, don't you want ambition? Don't Or don't you have ambition? Don't you want more for yourself? Don't you want to be the boss, babe? Don't you want to have your own this and your own that and everything like that? <laughs> yes, this and that and everything like that. Sometimes it comes out that way. So when it comes down to it, do wives aspire to be more? You know, do wives lack aspirations and inspiration and all that other good stuff? I would beg to differ. I would say that they aspire to do a lot and to be a lot because it takes a lot to be a wife. You know, you don't have to have these multiple degrees and these PhDs and these MBAs and all these other things. Not downing or knocking anybody who go that route. Not knocking any woman who decides that they want to put their career um, ahead of anything else or whatever the case may be to each his own. Here's my thing. My thing is that when if it's not for you, don't knock other people if it's for them. I've heard uh, there was a YouTuber that I've, I've seen um, by the name of Megan Moon. <laughs> Check her out. She did this video because she talked about uh, wives or being a wife and marriage and marriage, how it's different in different in other countries than it is in the USA. So I'm not going to get into that, but I totally agree <laughs> with her um, because you see a lot of different things when you're traveling. However, I digress. The thing is, though, she did make a comment about the duty of it all and how it, in Korea, which is where she's at because she married a Korean man, that she decided or she realized that it's about duty there. It's not about this whole fantasy fairy tale life that are that's really fed to us in america you know that's in the states or in usa or whatever you want to call it so it's totally different and when it comes to duty it's like you are pleased and proud and fulfilled with fulfilling your duty you know your duty as a wife your duty as a husband so what does that entail what does that mean when you become a wife when you say you know what oh you know, that's what I want to be. I want to be a wife. I want to be a mother. I want things to be, I want to live that life. I want to live that life. I want to enjoy my wife life <laughs> type of thing. Now, yeah, it takes work. It takes understanding your husband, understanding his needs, understanding his wants, understanding his wishes. It's also understanding yours and what you are capable of doing. It's also understanding that you have so much power that you have the power to allow things to be great. You could cause drama. You can make things as beautiful as you can make them. You can calm the storm if need be. If you choose to, you have that power. We as wives have that power. And I realize that because husbands go out, if even if even if husbands are business owners or 
they work from home or whatever the case may be. There are times that they go out and even if they're not going out, they're still dealing with outside forces to create a business, to grow a business, to build a business, to create a legacy and a lifestyle for wives and their families to enjoy, not just them. They're not just doing it for them. <laughs> this is not the thing to say, oh yeah, you know, I'm only doing this for me. She just get the remnants of it. Pardon the interruption. We want to share with you something that's very important, a project that we've been working on and empowering people with called the Polygamy Masterclass. I conduct a four-part men's polygamy masterclass where we go through the four stages of polygamy. So when we're talking about the idea stage, the what to expect stage to transitioning, as well as the new normal, which includes a whole bunch of stuff in between there. All right, of course, include leadership and financial things as well. Now, I want men to check that out by going to Polygamy Masterclass Dot com. In addition to having access to the live courses as well as the pre-recorded ones, you also get downloads, you get access to me directly. So let's get busy if you really are serious about practicing polygamy in a healthy manner. Yes, and in our Women's Polygamy Masterclass, we train on preparedness in polygamy. In addition to connecting with your co-wife and everything in between. So make sure you go to polygamymasterclass.com for a higher level education. Now back to your video. They do these things to, to take care of their families, which starts with their wives. So being able to enjoy your wife life does not mean you lack ambition. That means that you know that it takes a lot of emotional intelligence. It takes a lot of care. It takes a lot of compassion. It takes a lot of concern. It takes a lot of doing a number of things, wearing a lot of hats in order to be the best wife you can be and to enjoy that wife life, meaning that you're enjoying, you're enjoying a person, your husband, a person that takes care of you, that provides, protects, and exudes this personal power, meaning that he knows how to take care of a family. He knows how to lead. So no, we're not talking about these bums out here that you know want to collect women. We're not talking about these bums out here that want to sleep around with people or want to fake the funk and not want to take care of his responsibilities. We're talking about true husbands who understand their role and their duty as a husband. And if you receive, if you picked, if you chose, and your husband chose you, you chose one that is a great leader. You chose one that is an amazing provider. You chose one that knows his role and his duty as a husband. Then you yourself should know your duty as a wife. And it doesn't lack ambition. It doesn't mean that you're less than when you play support. When you are a person who is of that intelligence, of that mindset to say, support beams hold up and keep up the tallest of buildings. Without those support beams, those buildings would be nothing. And I'm saying that your husband would be nothing, just saying that we all need each other. We need each other in many ways. Okay, I totally got distracted by a bird. <laughs> That was sitting that just came and perched over there. It was so beautiful. Sorry, you guys weren't able to see it. Um, I decided to kind of take a different location or uh, a location in filming. It may be some noise in the background or something like that because I just took a walk and just uh, with my children or uh, with a couple of my children and decided to do this video. And I said, you know what? I'm enjoying my wife life. Let me do a video on that and what that entails. And because I can enjoy days like this, because I can take a walk, because I can enjoy beautiful cities and beautiful countries and things like that with my family, I know what that means. And I know that being a wife is not an easy task when you're doing it right, because it's about duty. And you get the rewards when you do your duty well. But that's just the same as for husbands, where if they're doing their duty well, they'll get, their, they're, they'll get the reward and they'll get the amazing rewards. But we also gotta make sure that we're supporting them so they can do their duty well. So I hope you guys got some good information from that. <laughs> and I'm gonna continue to enjoy my day. Um, yeah, so enjoy my wife life and all that other good stuff uh, with my children. 
And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every single day. If you want more information on how to live and grow your relationships on a higher level, whether it's monogamy or polygyny, make sure you visit us at outstandingpersonalrelationships.com. And if you want to know how to practice polygyny the proper way, visit us at polygyny masterclass or polygamy masterclass.com. And until the next video, I will see you soon, inshallah. It's your coach, Coach Nyla, signing off. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Here are three ways I'll say the first relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships. And make sure you sign up for our email list and you can actually email us at support at Outstanding Personal Relationships where you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored, as well as exclusive access to our lives and bonuses. Absolutely. If you're looking for more polygyny education, make sure you visit polygamymasterclass.com. Now, if you're looking for coaching or counseling with either Coach Fatima or Coach Nyla, you can find them at... Make sure you visit me at coachfatima.com. And myself at coachnyla.com. That's how we can help you. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Peace.